Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here to talk about the new Marvel Snap stuff, because it just got announced while I was sleeping. That's right, they're here to learn about stuff that's going to be in the new patch. So that's going to be today's video. I'm going to go over the stuff that's specifically on their site. I haven't watched the video, which they did a video version. I don't know if there's more stuff in there, but if you watch that, feel free to tell me. I'm going to be watching it right after I record this. Actually, why don't I watch it before I go? One moment. Okay, it's a good thing I do. So, yeah, the reason they're doing this is because the next one is called the Power Cosmic. That's going to be our next um, event, which is going to take place after Wakanda. And that will introduce uh, Silver Surfer to the <clears throat> Battle Pass. So this goes kind of along with them. It's a good thing I actually looked at the video because I was weird. It's like, oh, they call it the Power Cosmic, but they don't actually mention anything in here. Well, it's a good thing I was looking at it. But anyway, so yeah, on the roadmap, they said that something this was coming specifically, which is collector tokens. Um, oh, by the way, if you end up liking this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the channel. Anyway, continuing on with the good stuff. <laughs> Collector's tokens are coming in, and this is going to be basically their way of letting people kind of be able to get cards that they can get at any point. Um, they'll explain a little bit more here, but that's kind of one of the things that's on the roadmap, and it's looked like they're going to be sharing a few, uh, an updated roadmap sometime in December, so I'll look forward to that when it happens. But yeah, there you go, the Power Cosmic. So uh, Silver Surfer is coming, and then also this stuff in the patch right here, so... New cards and how to get them to TLDR. We're adding a new way to unlock cards, token shop, plus a ton of new cards. Hey, everyone. We've been working on a bunch of new things, and one of the most exciting things in this edition of collector is uh, of collector's tokens. Wait, one of the most exciting things is the addition of collector's tokens. There you go. Before we jump in how they work, let's review some of the things that we've been hearing from y'all. Players want specific cards. Yes, this should have been in the game from the launch because it's maybe the thing that people hate the most is going, I don't have any card that I need. While many players enjoy the variation of collection that comes from the randomness, which I agree that in the beginning it's kind of fun, others can feel frustrated with their inability to target specific cards that they really want, especially if they're excited about a deck that they're missing with just one key card to bring it all together. And also sometimes when you enter pool 3, it's actually a pain in the ass. Shoutouts to, let me see if I can find them. Zaldiek Torlek, who said, I just got into tier 3 pool and I got Invisible Woman, Baron Mondo, and Agatha. Terrible. <laughs> Ter <laughs> Invisible Woman, you can do something with. <clears throat> Baron Mondo, you can do some. Baron Mordo, you can do something with. And Agatha, you can technically do something with. The problem is, is that they all require cards that are in Pool 3. <laughs> like, Invisible Woman is best with Wong, um, Gambit, uh, Odin, or doing the discard Hela. Not so good if you just get her right off the bat. And Baron Mondo... Mordo only has uh, a place if you have, um, I cannot believe I'm forgetting his name. I keep wanting to call him General Ram, but that's not his name. Uh, it's the bad guy from the first Gal Guardians of the Galaxy, Ronan. Ronan the Conqueror, there we go. And Agatha, I think, is actively terrible, but D Free loves her, so there you go. But you can, in theory, snag some wins with Agatha, which is really funny. So yeah, they need to be able... The people want specific cards. It's It really sucks going into pull 3 and getting the like weird tech options instead of like the big power cards like Doctor Doom and stuff. We need more collection goals. Yes! Once players earn all their currently available cards on the collection level track, aka me, there are less goals for players to look forward to achieving. We love the feeling of having exciting collection goals and we miss it once it's gone. 100% true. There's no reason for me to level up anymore. I don't get anything good. The last thing I got was a, was a title that says, I'm wet. So it's like, I don't think this is worth much. To tackle these, we're doing two things. Adding collector's tokens to target cards you want most and adding new rare cards to the collect. Yes. I was actually wondering if, I'm like, well, now that the, when the collector tokens come in, I'm not going to be able to get shit. Because I have every card in the game at the moment, except for Galactus and um, Thanos, but they're random cards, so they don't count. But they're actually being added in this patch. First, let's talk about targeting. Starting the next patch, collector's tokens can be found in the collector's caches, caches or reserves, which are boxes on the collector level track starting at level 500. You can use tokens in the token shop to acquire cards you don't have yet. The token shop rotates every 8 hours, and because these cards rotate so often, you're likely to see a card you've been waiting for relatively quickly. If you don't have the tokens on hand, no problem. You can pin the card in the shop so it won't rotate and buy it when you have enough tokens. And you can see here, Cerebro for 1,000. 
Finally, my Cerebro deck will have Cerebro in it. Yes, 100% it's, it's that kind of feeling. With this system, you'll be able to make constant progress towards unlocking the cards you want most. Cards have always been split into separate series, or what some players are calling pools. Yes, we call it that because that is what the data mines call them. <laughs> Even though inside the game, they don't call it that. <laughs> That's the reason we call it pools. <clears throat> because on the data mines, they say specifically pools. Um, you must earn every card, which is really funny because there's starter pool, um, beginner pool, and then it goes pool one. So pool one is technically the, sec the, the, the third pool. You must earn every card in series one before you can uh, earn cards in series two, and every card in series two before you can start earning cards in series three. Yeah, that's how it currently goes. So how can you get collector tokens? Collector tokens are replacing boosters. Thank you! In collector's caches and reserves. Collector caches and reserves will have a 25% chance to drop 100 tokens each. But once players have all the Series 3 cards, they'll have an additional 22% chance to get 400 tokens. <clears throat> a significant increase. But what are all these collector tokens for? Uh, by the way, <clears throat> I really do think that they should up this just a little bit more. At 25%. Because the current prices, it's like, hmm, we'll, we'll, we'll get into it. Get ready for more cards. We're adding two exciting new series cards of rare cards. Series 4 and Series 5. A.K.A. Pool 4 and Pool 5. Series 4, rare. We're launching Series 4 with 10 new cards. Unlike earlier series, Series 4 cards can be found in collector's reserve caches where you, you have all Series 3 cards or not. These cards are quite rare. They are 10 times more rare than Series 3 cards. If you're looking for something specific, you can always target in the target shop. I forgot about the music. Series uh, 5, ultra rare. Series 5 launches the 6 new cards, uh, including Thanos and Galactus. These are the rarest cards in the game. They can be found in collector's reserves, but they are 10 times rare rarer than even series 4. Uh, when we release new cards or when season pass cards are no longer available in their season pass, they'll be temporarily added to series 5. We don't expect players to get every new series 5 card immediately since not every card is going to be good or useful for every player. You'll have to decide which of these cards are worth having collector tokens for. So here's the prices. How many tokens are needed for each series? Series 3 cards, 1,000 tokens. Series 4 cards, 3,000 tokens. And series 5 cards, 6,000 tokens! 6,000?! <laughs> yes, yeah, this, this is not gonna be enough, my guy. <laughs> for how well, for how often collector's caches. So, mm, I don't know if this is something that I can say. They need to take boosters out of... in general. No, maybe not boosters. Get rid of the fucking 25 credit and give me tokens instead. 25 credit ain't helping anyone, man. I would rather they have just more collector tokens if I'm being 100% real with you. 25 just doesn't give you anything. And same thing goes for the booster because the booster is usually only like 10, 10 or so. So, yeah, they could definitely give us more. But maybe there will be more events where you can actually earn tokens. If you don't know, there are events in Marvel Snap. You have to go to a separate website at the moment, but they're working on it. <laughs> Hopefully soon. Um, so yeah, you'll get them all eventually. Over time, some cards will be moved down from Series 5 to Series 4, and some cards will be moved from Series 4 to 3. This ensures that players starting later aren't going to experience the enormous gap between a new player and the anyone who's been playing for years. And it means if you aren't sure you want to spend the full token price on a Series 5 card, you can wait until it gets cheaper. We're still figuring out the exact details of cards moving between series. It's a whole new system. We are eager to see how players engage with it. But our goal is that cards generally take months, not years, to move down series. Uh, that's smart because some of these cards should be down in 3. And some of the cards in 3 should be down to 2. And some in 2 should be in 1. <laughs> and some cards in 1 should be in beginner. <laughs> where they just give it to you for free. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. That's a good idea. They should be doing this. A gift to get you started. We wanted to do something fun to celebrate these new big changes and to get started in a token shop. When you log into the new patch, you'll start with a gift of a bunch of tokens. The amount of tokens you'll be get depending on your collection level when you log in. 500 to 999 level is 3,000 tokens. 1,000 to 2,999 is 6,000 tokens. And 3,000 will give you 12,000 tokens. AKA, this is what I'm getting. Um... 
And what if I'm not collection level 500 yet? For players currently under 500 collection level, they'll be granted 3,000 tokens. That's nice. When they unlock the token shop at collection level 500. That's really cool, actually. We're excited about adding a bunch of brand new cards to the game and can't wait for players to be able to pick and choose which cards you want to earn next with their collector's tokens. This is a big change for Marvel Snap, but it's just the beginning. Lots more awesome features, cards, and games coming uh, co modes to come. So here's my general opinion on this. If you're close to 3,000, get to 3,000 right now. If you're somewhere in the 2000s, I think you should start hoarding credits. I don't think you'll make it in time unless you go crazy Agatha farming. Like, Agatha farming is maybe your best way to get to collection level 3,000. Um, but if you're somewhere, like, just in hitting the 1,000s and you're just going to get 6,000, I think you're fine. And you're good to hold off for the moment. Um, if you're here, you don't have to worry about it. Honestly, if you just hit 5,000, you maybe want to hold off a little bit. Or maybe you can actually make it to 1,000. I think it's probably possible, but... It's going to depend on where you are. If you're like 750, I think you could probably make it. But if you're not, you're just barely at 500. And if you're not at 500, just keep playing normally. Then you're fine. Nothing changes for you. But that's my current uh, opinion on that. Also, new cards. Yes, some of the data mine cards. Let's go. Series 4. She-Hulk costs one less for each unspent energy last turn. A.K.A. Hey, we're going to be... Uh, <laughs> You know, Infinite, the 6 turn 20 drop, we just made it 30, <laughs> because now She-Hulk gets to come out for free. Uh, Titania, the 1 drop 5, when any card is played at this location, the card sw switches sides, which is very interesting. Um, Luke Cage, 2 drop, I've been waiting for this guy. Your cards can have their powers reduced, very nice. The Absorbing Man, 4 drop 3, on reveal, the last card you played has an on reveal effect, copy it. Uh, basically a mystique, but for uh, on reveal, which could lead to some really goofy stuff. I'm looking forward to it. Maria Hill, add a Maria Hill, add a random one cost card to your hand. Agent Coulson, add a random four cost and five cost card to your hand. Nah, that's actually really good. What the fuck? Uh, Heli Carrier, when you discard this card from your hand, replace it with three random cards. <laughs> actually hilarious. Um... Mbaku, if this card is in, in the deck at the end of the game, it leaps to a random location. This deserves to be in pool one. <laughs> I don't know why this is pool four. Uh, yeah, I don't understand. This is like Angel, but worse. <laughs> we'll see. Maybe there's some crazy tech that I'm not seeing. Uh, Atuma, for it costs 10. You have another card here at the end of your turn. Destroy it, aka put me with armor or put me with no one. Six drop, nine, Orca, plus five power if this is the only card here. Pretty nice. Uh, series five, this is the big 12,000, 6,000 per cost. Galactus, I can't wait to see some of the crazy shit people are going to be going with Galactus. If this is the only card here in the location, destroy other all of the locations. Nice. Valkyrie said all cards at this location, the three power. Um, <laughs> really nice to go with Cerebro, actually. Small buff to Cerebro. Super Scroll, ongoing, has the ongoing effects of all enemy cards, aka I can be ongoing too. I, this is the ultimate counter to an ongoing deck. Oh my god, one guy who has all the abilities. I want to see what happens when two Super Scrolls fight each other, because it'd be hilarious. It'd have to be it'd result in the ultimate tie. Uh, Shuri, uh, double the power of the next card you play. We heard you like Black Panther. Now every card is Black Panther. Bost, set the power of all cards in your hand. Three, which is really good to counter against Scorpion. Um, Scorpion, actually, yes. Um, really nice, actually. That's, ooh, that's nice. Depending on what kind of deck you're running. If you're running Cerebro, this really helps Cerebro. Um, Thanos, six drop, eight. At the start of the game, shuffle six Infinity Stones into your deck. Mind Stone, draw two stones from your deck. Power Stone, if you played all six stones, Thanos gets plus 10 power wherever he is. The Reality Stone, transform this location into a new one, draw a card. The Soul Stone, draw a card, ongoing enemies' cards have minus one power. The Space Stone, next turn you can move one card at this location, draw a card. And finally, the Time Stone, gain plus one energy, next turn, draw a card. 
Find us more on social media. Very good update. We've been waiting for it. I can't wait to see kind of what it is. I can't wait to get some of these Series 4 and Series uh, 5 cards. I'm already saving everything that I'm getting. All the credits, all the everything. I'm not doing anything. I'm not doing shit until these fucking collector tokens are in here. I've already made it to 3,000. I'm pretty close to 3,500, I think. So it's better for me just kind of hold off because I don't need the boosters at the moment. But yeah, very good update. I'm glad to see that the game is improving and it's keep going forward. Uh, hopefully they continue to listen to people and what they want. Hopefully they keep adding new cards because that honestly is going to be doing a lot. And I hope they make it so that it's easier to get cards in 3, 4, and 5 for anyone who's just starting out. Because yeah, they as they mentioned, the one problem is that as the game goes on, unless they're updating a lot of those old cards, a lot of new people are going to be lost. And I don't know if they eventually get to the point where they do something similar to Hearthstone where there's just like a divide and they say, alright, you can't use these dudes anymore. But hey, we'll see. But that's the end of the video, everyone. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next Marvel Snap video. This was a surprise on me, so this is a double upload from me. Uh, and I'll be back to doing some more of the videos next time. Till next time, everyone. Peace out. Have a good day.